Thank you very much. Joining me now on Zoom is Liz Snyder from Hillside Garden Landscaping. And Liz, we get questions from many of our viewers who are looking for deer-resistant plants. And today Liz is going to share a deer-resistant suggestion for the Shade Garden Ostrich Farm. Ostrich Farm is a really neat native plant. And I, I have a picture here that I, I took a few weeks ago while I was kayaking. Um, they like to natively grow along streams um, and kind of in moist woodland scenarios. So uh, ferns, you know, in particular are great in the shade. They're typically very deer resistant. And we had a batch here of ostrich fern that we've been propagating at our shop. And I took some pictures as spring kind of went along to show the different phases of that. And when they emerge in the spring in May, um, they're what are called fiddleheads. They come up and they're just this kind of dainty little curl that's really neat to see early on in the garden. Mm -hmm. And as they grow, they tend to be very upright. Ostrich fern gets its name because the plumes look like an ostrich feather. So they're very long and, and dainty and they kind of stand upright. So as that plant matures, they get taller and taller. And you can see here uh, that once they get to their mature size, they're easily waist height. So they're a very tall plant, which makes it really nice for the background of a woodland garden. And I, I have a shot here where it's just one by itself. So you can see how upright and kind of base shaped that is. Um, and it's really striking the, the form of that and it's just really soft and fluffy, but they are really great too when you're using them in a big grouping too, because mm -hmm. it can make such a statement. Gotcha. So how can you use this great plant in your garden? Well, like I said, if you want to use them for a background plant, they're a nice medium shady, shade of green. And so things that are, have a little bit more color in front of those can just pop right out of the garden. It's a great background plant. Um, but I also like to choose things that have a different texture. Uh, the, the ostrich fern plume is very lacy and very kind of open. They flow in the breeze. So by putting something in front of that that's got a bigger, chunkier leaf, uh, like here I show it with some coral bells, which also like that shady and just a little bit moist uh, shade garden scenario. And that pop of color, that orange against the green, it really shows up well, but it's a nice contrast of the fluffy, lacy leaves versus something a little bigger and bulkier visually. Yeah. And also in that final photo, I have an astilbe in there, which is getting ready to bloom soon. Uh, that is going to make kind of a nice plume that comes up off of that. That's either a bright red or purple or white. There's many different colors. And again, that color in the shade garden shows up really well against that green. So mm -hmm. if you've got an area back in the back corner of your landscaping uh, that just needs a little pop of color, that's a good way to add some color and some interest to that. And they're very low maintenance. Um, ferns in general, you're going to cut that down once a year um, in the fall. Once they get frosted once or twice, they'll fall down. And then you just kind of clean them up and away you go. Awesome. Um, and, and most neighborhoods, we're finding them to be very deer resistant. Which is gotcha. <laughs> good to know. Thank you so much, Liz. We appreciate you joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm Liz Snyder, your home gardener from Hillside Garden Landscaping. You can watch Home Gardener every week only on Around the Tears. For today's segment and to find out more, head to WBNG.com, click on Around the Tears, and select Home Gardener from the drop-down menu. And if you have any home gardening questions that you want answered, send them to homegardener at hillsidegl.com. Thanks for watching Around the Tears. Stay tuned. We'll have a final check of your weather, and 12 News at Noon wraps up next.